Yo, yo, I'm Drew Gilchrist, and today I wanted to talk about the blunts that everyone is talking about. And when I say everyone's talking about them, I mean like I've had countless messages from people saying, Hey, Drew, can you make a video about this? Hey, Drew, what do you think about these? So what I'm talking about here is king palms, and they actually make blunts out of palm leaves. And people have been talking about these for kind of like the last year, two years. But then recently, I, I think it's kind of recently, they added in a bunch of flavors, because I'm pretty sure that when I first saw them, they didn't really have any flavorings. It was just the blunts by themselves, and they were still really nice. And people were really talking about them. But now they've introduced flavors, which I guess is kind of like the best part of having a blunt because you kind of want to use a blunt wrap in a situation where, you know, you have some bud, but it's not smoking the best, but you still want to smoke it. You don't just want to throw it away. And to be honest, that's when blunts come in useful the most because it will help it burn that whole way down, help it kind of smoke. And, you know, if you have bud like that, the chances are it's probably not going to taste the best. So since King Palm announced all the flavors, the one that I saw which I really wanted to try was the banana one because whenever I smoke a joint which has banana wax in it. I absolutely love the taste and I kind of figured that you'd be able to recreate that taste with instead of wax having the flavor in from the blunt. Now the one thing I'll say as well before we get into this, right? So, uh, King Palm may have went a little bit overboard with how many they sent me. <laughs> so I'm going to be doing a giveaway of 100 King Palms over on my Twitch later on today at 9 p.m. The link for that will be in the pinned comment down below. Also, the link for King Palms themselves will be in the pinned comment down below. So definitely, definitely check them out. So they sent me over so many different ones. There's literally no way I'd be able to try out all of them in this video. Like, it's just not going to happen. So yeah, I figured I would just try the one that I've been wanting to try the longest, which is the banana one. We're going to go over to the setup that we had the other day on the other video. And uh, I think we're going to pack this up. So this size says it holds a gram. So I'm going to weigh out a gram and hopefully it will fit perfectly. Wow, that was way closer to a gram than what I thought it was going to be. I feel like this is going to require more than a gram of bud, but that's just me looking at the amount of bud there. So this is what it's looking like. It looks really, really nice. <laughs> um, really, really does make you feel fancy when you're smoking these. Tips are really nice as well. Um, can't quite focus on that, but that doesn't really matter. But if I slide this out of here, then this is what we're filling up. So apparently that fits a gram. That goes in here. So maybe maybe it will fit. Maybe it won't be too little. A bunch of you guys last time said, where the fuck is the $150 grinder? It's right here. I just don't really like using it all the time because it's expensive. <laughs> I don't want it to last, you know? I don't have like a medical condition that requires me to use it every single time. So I just use it on special occasions because, you know, it is quite a, it's quite a fancy thing. And... For that reason, I want it to uh, I want it to last. So it's just everything has a lifespan, and you know I don't want this one's lifespan to be any shorter than it needs to be. It grinds up so nicely, like <laughs> this is me with the grinder right next to the microphone. You can barely hear it. So I guess we just have to see whether that's the right amount to put inside this. It comes with a really really nice poker with every single thing. I'm actually holding this the wrong way. Uh <laughs> So that's what we got there. I feel like I feel like that's not enough. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like it's not enough. I'm probably gonna have to use a bit more. Honestly, this this pack's super super nice. Like really really easily. Um, I must say this <laughs> this is honestly the easiest cone that I've ever packed in my whole life. Damn, this feels really nice. <laughs> like it feels like you know when you roll a really nicely tight joint. That is exactly what this feels like. Yo, that is... Yo, that is crazy! Look at how perfectly that fit in there! Yo, that couldn't have been more perfect! I mean, I know I know it said a gram, and I know I thought it was supposed to be like a recommendation. I didn't think it was gonna fit on point perfectly. That is wild. I'm really hyped, right? I guess we're gonna go back to the desk. And we're gonna smoke it. Sweet, we have the whole thing here. I, <laughs> Once again, I'm really, really surprised that me weighing out exactly a gram came out to pack this to the exact end. Like, I kind of figured it would be like a rough ballpark. It wouldn't be able to be exactly accurate, but <laughs> somehow I guess it was. So, I guess we start sparking this up. We see how it tastes. I'm pretty sure the flavoring is actually in the tip. So you have to like do the same thing that you would do on like a cigarette where, you know, you click the ball on the inside, it makes it pop and then that makes it get flavor. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, right now I haven't clicked the thing and it tastes really, really good. 
Like that tastes really, really good. It could also be that because I've left that bit of bud for like a week, it's like gotten better over time. But the last time I was hitting this weed, it was not smoking like this and it was not tasting like that either. So that's without me pressing the button right now. It's already smoking really, really banging. That's already really, really sick. Just the fact that I haven't clicked the button is tasting really good. Like the taste of my bud is still there, which to be honest, I really wasn't expecting, but it fully is 100% tastes like I'm just smoking a joint. Right, I'm gonna press the button. It smells like banana. Wow. So one of my friends told me, he was like, yo, if you're using one of the flavored ones, just know that you literally can't taste anything else other than the flavor. Which I guess is a really good thing because, you know, if you have bud which doesn't taste the best, you put it in this, you're making it taste good. Yo, that's crazy. Yo, that's crazy. One sec, I'm gonna see if my housemate wants to try this. You wanna try this? The king pot. Yeah, look, I'm filming right now, so you gotta. Do you wanna, do you wanna take this on, on, on the Yeah, beat? go mm. on then. We've got my housemate here How's it going to people? test this out. Oh, this is shit. the banana flavor. Banana, oh, okay. And I put some, I, I put some dog in it. Bro, I could taste that before I even put my lips. It don't taste like dog, does it? It just tastes like banana. Wow, <laughs> that's crazy. I've never had anything like that before. Are there other flavors? Yeah, there's like, <laughs> there's watermelon, berry, cherry shit. and shit, or margarita or something. Shit, that's <laughs> fucking banging. Mm. No, I read that. Mm. Right. Say, say for my okay, so my thoughts on this is slightly different to what I thought it was going to be going into it. When I went into this, I was thinking maybe it's going to taste like, you know, when you put banana wax inside a joint. No, 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 no. This tastes like I'm eating a banana. <laughs> the craziest part about this as well is to see how this is actually smoking and burning. This weed wasn't burning that clean. I've actually been saving this dog specifically for this video because it wasn't actually burning like the cleanest. Like it wasn't burning pure black ash, but it definitely wasn't burning white ash either. The taste was all right. It wasn't crazy, but like genuinely, I actually plowed some joints from it and, and being like, no, I don't want to smoke this. I'm kind of good. Now this on the other hand, I wouldn't be putting this out. Before I clicked the button, it was tasting and smoking better than it was before when I was smoking it just in normal rolling papers. Like way, way better, like 10 times better. And it's just sick because, you know, most blunts that you would put some bud in that doesn't really burn clean, if it's not like a tobacco wrap, I would say most of the time it's not really gonna help it burn. And the reason most people use blunt wraps is for when they don't have the best weed. I'm also kind of just gassed by the fact that you can actually put a gram in this. Like this only had a gram throughout the whole thing and it looked like it did, it's smoking like it did. I feel like if I'm rolling like a backwards or I'm rolling up a Dutch Masters or something along them lines, I usually have to use way more than a gram to have it look about that size. Wow, I am so, so impressed with this. Like, what were the other flavors they have as well? Right, so they have berry, they have watermelon, they have margarita, they have mint, and they have the banana. I'm pretty sure that's all the flavors they have. At least that's all the flavors that I have. The one thing I'll say as well is the mint definitely is gonna be the strongest one out of them, because I could smell the mint through the bag. You don't even have to open the seal or anything to start smelling the mint, whereas, all of the other ones, I'm pretty sure you can't smell through the bag. It's just strange because even though it tastes like so strong that it feels like I'm eating a banana, it doesn't taste so strong that it doesn't taste like it could come from a joint naturally. This still, as I'm token it, I could believe that this was just a strain that tastes like this. Well, people, this is pretty much over. It's getting to the point where it's about to be dead. I'm probably gonna have like one, two more pulls on it. That was so flavorsome. It smoked amazing. Like the bud that I put in that wasn't smoking that good. I'm so, so impressed that that just made the joint so good. Yo, the thing I haven't even mentioned about these guys yet is that, you know that, the size of that was the one gram one. So they do these as well, they're half gram ones. Wait, check this, check this. So to all the people who are like, oh, I can't smoke pure because, you know, I can't put a gram into a joint or, oh, I can't smoke pure because my bud's not clean enough. This is the answer. Like you can put half a gram in this one 
like just for context to show how big it is in your, in your mouth, like it has a little tip that comes out here and this bit will fill up with the half gram and it will smoke amazing, literally how I've just had it. This is the unflavored ones, I'm not sure if they do flavored ones in the half grams, but even just smoking stuff through these wraps in and of themselves, will have your joint taste and banging. I'll probably smoke one of these on Twitch later on if you want to have a little look at that. But I think that's where I'm going to end this off here. I want to remind you guys that later on today, I'm going to give away 100 King Palms, people. 100! So if you want to get the chance to win that, definitely check out the stream. The link will be in the pinned comment down below. So guys, definitely check out King Palms. Those guys are absolutely amazing. Thank you to them for sending this over to me. I've wanted to make this video for a long time, so I'm really glad that they could make this possible. And don't forget to hit the like button and hit the subscribe button just down here. People, let me know what your favorite blunt wraps are in the comments down below. And if you've tried the King Palms, let me know what your favorite flavor is. I would love to know that as well. So people, thank you very much for being here. I'll see you guys soon in a bit. Why you always Peace. on the phone, I sell a toxic. Why you do the most when you really wanna stop this? Got the trap spot jumping, jumping like a mob. Know me so well, my bro. Do me a sale, I'll go. Put on the scales, I'll go. Put on the scales, you just don't open nails, yeah. Heads or tails, yeah. Set for sale, gonna cut it for the low.